Have you ever wondered about the true impact of alcohol on your body? We've all heard the rumors, the whispers of caution, the supposed benefits and the potential downfalls. But what's the real story? Alcohol, in its many forms, has been a staple in societies across the globe for centuries. It's a substance that's celebrated, vilified and often misunderstood. It's in our toasts of celebration, our moments of relaxation and sometimes our attempts to escape. But what does it really do to us? What happens when the laughter fades and the party ends? How does this widespread substance, so deeply ingrained in our cultures, impact our bodies? These questions may seem daunting, but they are crucial to understanding the full picture. So, let's not shy away from them. Instead, let's challenge ourselves to look beyond the surface. Let's dive into the facts and find out the truth about alcohol. When consumed in excess, alcohol can have severe consequences on our bodies. Imagine for a moment your body as a finely tuned machine, each part working in perfect harmony with the others. Now let's introduce alcohol into the system. At first it might seem like just a little fun, a temporary escape from reality, but the truth is even the smallest amount of alcohol can disrupt that harmony, and the effects are immediate. Firstly, alcohol affects our brain, impairing our judgment. Suddenly things that we would normally never do start to seem like good ideas. We might decide to take risks, make impulsive decisions or act out of character. This impaired judgment is not only dangerous for us but also for those around us. Then there's the matter of coordination. After a few drinks you might notice that you're not quite as steady on your feet, you might stumble, fumble or even fall. This lack of coordination is not just embarrassing, it's a safety hazard. Simple tasks like walking downstairs or even just standing up can become perilous. And let's not forget about reaction time. Alcohol slows down our brain's processing speed which can delay our reactions. This might not seem like a big deal when you're sitting on a bar stool, but it becomes a life-threatening issue when you're behind the wheel of a car. The risk of accidents and injuries due to alcohol-induced impairment is not something to be taken lightly. Now you might be thinking, surely these effects will wear off once the alcohol is out of my system. And you would be correct, but remember, these are just the immediate effects. The long-term consequences of excessive alcohol consumption, such as liver disease, heart problems and mental health issues, are even more alarming. But these are just the immediate effects. The long-term consequences are even more alarming. The long-term effects of alcohol on our bodies are quite serious and often irreversible. Let's delve into these effects, starting with liver disease. You see, the liver breaks down alcohol so it can be removed from your body. But this process generates harmful substances that can lead to conditions like fatty liver disease, alcohol hepatitis, and even cirrhosis, a condition where the liver slowly deteriorates and malfunctions due to chronic injury. Then we have heart problems. Excessive drinking can lead to high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, and other cardiovascular issues. The heart isn't designed to deal with the stress alcohol places on it, and over time it starts to show signs of wear and tear. Next up we have digestive problems. Alcohol can irritate the digestive system, leading to issues such as gastritis or pancreatitis. It can also increase the risk of cancers in the mouth, esophagus, throat, and liver. And let's not forget about mental health. Alcohol changes the balance of chemicals in our brains, and long-term use can lead to depression, anxiety, and other mental health disorders. It's a vicious cycle where alcohol is often used as a coping mechanism for stress or emotional pain but ends up exacerbating the problem. Beyond these physical and mental health issues there's also the risk of alcohol addiction. Dependence on alcohol can sneak up on you, progressing from social drinking to problem drinking without you even realizing it. And once you're hooked, withdrawing from alcohol can be a real challenge, with symptoms ranging from mild anxiety and fatigue to severe complications like seizures and delirium. These health issues are serious but they are not the only risks associated with alcohol consumption. Alcohol doesn't just affect the individual, it impacts society as a whole. Let's delve deeper into this concept. Picture a ripple effect, where one small action such as a single drop of alcohol, can cause far-reaching consequences. This is the societal impact of alcohol. It's not just about the one who drinks but also about the world that surrounds them. Consider the economic cost. Alcohol misuse costs nations billions each year, draining resources that could be used to improve infrastructure, education and healthcare. It's a weighty burden on the economy, with funds being funneled into dealing with the fallout, rather than propelling society forward. Not to mention the strain on healthcare systems. Emergency rooms around the world are all too familiar with the detrimental effects of alcohol. From alcohol poisoning to long-term health complications, 
the medical community is consistently grappling with the consequences of alcohol misuse. This isn't just a drain on resources but also on the time and energy of healthcare professionals. And then there's the human cost. The impact on families and communities is perhaps the most heartbreaking aspect. Alcohol can fracture relationships, shatter families and disrupt communities. It's a catalyst for domestic violence and crime, causing pain and suffering that reverberates through generations. Take domestic violence for instance. It's a grim reality that alcohol often plays a part in such situations. It can act as a trigger, escalating conflicts into violence. The victims aren't just the immediate family members but also the friends, neighbors and community members who are left to pick up the pieces. Similarly, alcohol is often a common denominator in crime. From public disorder to serious offenses, it's clear that alcohol can lead individuals down a path they might not normally tread. It's a societal issue that requires collective action and understanding. Clearly, the effects of alcohol extend far beyond the individual drinker. It's a societal challenge that calls for a societal solution. It's about recognizing the ripple effect, understanding the broader implications, and working together to create a safer, healthier world for us all. So, what does all this mean for us, as individuals and as a society? We've delved into the murky depths of alcohol's impact, shedding light on its darker aspects. We've explored the long-term effects on our bodies and minds, and we've seen how it affects our society at large. Now it's time to reflect, to take all this information and apply it to our own lives. In the course of this dialogue, we've discovered that alcohol, while often a part of social gatherings and celebrations, has a sinister side. It can lead to a plethora of health issues ranging from liver disease to mental health problems. Not to mention, it has the potential to strain relationships and contribute to societal issues like violence and crime. This isn't about demonizing alcohol or those who enjoy it responsibly, instead it's about understanding the implications of our choices and making informed decisions. It's about recognizing when enjoyment turns into dependency and taking the necessary steps to prevent that shift. So what can we do? First and foremost, let's not ignore the elephant in the room. If you find yourself or a loved one struggling with alcohol, seek there are countless resources available from community support groups to professional counseling services. There's no shame in reaching out, it's a sign of strength and self-awareness. Next, let's promote moderation and responsible drinking. It's perfectly okay to enjoy a glass of wine at dinner or a beer with friends. But remember, it's not the quantity but the quality of the experience that matters. Overindulgence doesn't only steal the joy from the moment, but it also has lasting repercussions on our health. We need to be conscious consumers, aware of our habits, and willing to make changes when necessary. It's about making choices that respect our bodies, our minds, and our relationships. In conclusion, let's rethink our relationship with alcohol. Let's strive for balance, for understanding, and for responsible enjoyment. We owe it to ourselves and to each other to make choices that promote health and happiness. Remember, it's always better to be safe than sorry when it comes to alcohol. If you found this content beneficial and want more insights into health and wellness, don't forget to subscribe to Bodyology Central. We're here to provide in-depth knowledge and guide you on your journey towards a healthier lifestyle. Choose to stay informed and take control of your well-being with Bodyology Central.